Hey guys, so as you see, I have a new car. This is my new daily, and it's a 2007 Ford Focus. And it was kind of an impromptu kind of thing, but I wanted to get it. And it's more of like a daily slash my sleeper build that I'm gonna start. I thought I would introduce you guys and start doing mods. Today we are going to be doing the air filter. We're going to be converting it to a k &N air filter instead of the stock air box. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we go ahead and get started, um, I thought I'd give you guys some more background on the car and pretty much just basic information. So like I said, 2007 Ford Focus. It has 128,000 miles on it. And like I said, it was my project slash daily since I needed a daily car because that white 4Runner is what I usually drive, but that is my sister's car and she's in Korea right now. So I'm the one that's been taking care of it. And I wanted to get something for myself. So I went ahead and picked this up and we're gonna go ahead and look on the inside. Now I've had it for about a week and some change. So it's been used, but <clears throat> interior is pretty clean. As you can see, pretty much in good shape all the way around. The only flaw I would say is this tear right here, but that's a simple fix. It is a five speed which was one of the main reasons why I wanted to get it because I miss driving stick. But I have all the supplies that I'm gonna need today. At least I hope I have all of them. And so far I've done basic upgrades, uh, speaker, uh, and that's it really. It already came with um, aftermarket stereo. Works really good. Apple CarPlay and all that good stuff. Um, that's really it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the Airbox mod. So with these, I already looked up how easy or difficult it is. And I went ahead and just got a basic air filter and coupler because I wanted to start off simple and not, you know, drop too much money into a uh, easy mod but for these um, it's really weird so this isn't the actual air box from what I remember it's like called a resonator and it's supposed to make it quieter and the actual air box is goes down there and comes around into the firewall and the filter is supposedly in the wheel wheel well somewhere and that's a lot of work if I ever had to change it. So we're gonna go ahead and just do an aftermarket one because they're easier to change and they're reusable because you can wash them. This up like so. Here's what the resonator looks like. It's really weird. I don't know exactly if that's actual the name because I was just looking online. But here it is. And we're gonna go ahead and show you. Here's the tube that goes all the way down and wraps around. And here, if you look in there, there's also the, um, the, uh, mass airflow sensor so you have to be really careful but we're going to take this nut off and then keep going and removing the rest of it okay for this is the um, intake tube where the mass airflow sensor connects to basically what the um, mod is is you cut along right at this first um, little indent or whatever and use this half for the sensor and the filter connects onto this part. So what we're gonna do is make a cut along this first line and then scrap this piece 
and use this and just like that not even two minutes it's done tried to make a really clean edge as you can see sanded it down but it looks pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and clean this out first then attach it back on all right so now I'm gonna start on the reassembly and show you exactly how everything goes so we have a reducer that is gonna make this go into here just like so and then it's just gonna attach to this like so I'm gonna have to probably um, figure out how to get it in there a little bit better but it's gonna go into there and then we're going to attach like this and it's gonna go over it like this and then you just tighten it down and then boom we're gonna have our air filter so I was able to get it on so now we're just going to tighten this clamp onto that attach the filter tighten that down then attach it into here like so and then we're gonna be good all right <clears throat> here is the full assembly as you can see it doesn't look too bad now we're gonna start putting it in the actual engine and connect it to the throttle So I probably should have did a before and after, but there's actually like a slight sound difference. I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot more noticeable once we get on it. Um, I'm not saying this car is fast by any means, but it's actually kind of fun to do like kind of ricey mods to your car. Even though this is like a K&N air filter, which is like a really good brand. And it's just a simple mod, so we're gonna go ahead and go for a test drive and see how much of a difference it made. So other than, you know, being like looking cooler, it actually is going to help the engine be less restricted, which is usually better for fuel economy because the stock air boxes, they don't always give the best, um, the uh, best breathing ability for the car. So this is going to be less restrictive, more horsepower and acceleration, which I'm not really too worried about this, but the um, it's more or less just letting it breathe better. So surprisingly, there is a huge difference in, difference in sound. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's really, really different. All right, so I'm going to drop. So I'm in third gear. I'm going to try to see if I can get it on camera, see if you guys can hear it. I don't know how good it picks it up, but like I said earlier, it's a really big difference. It's kind of cool. 